going on guys crypto lights here we're back again with another video i want to bring you a special gem that i think might have some legs but before we do i want to talk about keep kp3r the coin from andre Cronje, the founder of yen finance talked about this yesterday um i was expecting the price action to move to the upside in yesterday's video but of course it hasn't okay so it makes a change me bringing you one that i could say that you know um they all it's just gonna go up and then it goes up you know i do get it wrong as we all do sometimes you know we traders and you know we get winning trades and you get losing trades and um, we thought we were gonna get a breakout over here but uh, unfortunately it didn't happen okay it did the complete opposite uh while i was asleep okay and it fell to the downside okay so how do I normally play this? So right now, because it's Uniswap, obviously you can't put a stop limit, okay? Which a lot of people don't like. That's why a lot of people don't use it, all right? Uh, so you can't put a stop limit. So what I normally do on something like this is if you miss it, you know, first of all, you don't, you know, bet the farm on it, okay? But if you miss it, what you can do is you normally, I normally wait for a bounce because the market likes to give you a second chance sometimes to get out, okay? And so if you did get a bounce, what you could have done is took profit, uh, took profit or you know minimize your loss go out here at a small loss and uh, you know then it would uh, bounce back down or roll back down now a lot, a lot of the time sometimes um, these do have a big bounce and then recover to the upside okay I think it's safer that if you do get a big bounce just get out of the trade okay and then if it continues up you can always re-enter when you get into a safe position but um, yeah a lot of the time you can see it roll over and come continue to the downside as well all right a lot of people will be buying this dip and uh, me personally that's not a dip that i would buy okay i would wait and see what happens and how the price action plays out uh, after that okay guys so um hopefully you didn't get wrecked on that um you know if you're holding for the long term probably doesn't bother you as much and yeah i guess it's a, a dip buying opportunity for you if you think there's some long term potential in this based on the fact it was created by the wi-fi founder and uh, he's got a quite quite a reputation in crypto all right guys so that's it for keeper kp3 i want to move on to a token that i think could potentially take you a long way if you were to get a good position on it okay and we're going to talk about simple coin smpl okay now why do i think simple coin has legs we'll start by looking at the chart okay it's gone all the way up from 30 cents at its inception just yesterday okay in 24 hours or not even that all the way up to a peak of 386 dollars that's crazy guys after that it had a massive sell off okay all the way down to 36 dollars but since then what it's done is it has recovered okay like i said you can get that bounce it gives you a second chance to get out if you got in over here now with this one I did get in pretty high to be honest. I FOMO'd in around $280, okay, because I thought it was just going to do something crazy to the upside. I was completely wrong, and on the next candle, it dumped all the way to the downside, and I was like 90% down on, on, on this position, okay. But I thought, you know what, let's wait and see what happens. Will we get a bounce? If it was going to get a bounce, okay, then I thought, okay, uh, uh, I'll hold it and uh, go to sleep. And we'll see what happens okay because a 90 percent loss i thought there's probably no point in selling might as well hold it and see what happens okay i'd still believe in the project and think that it's, it's, it's kind of unique in what it's doing and uh yeah it was right to hold out okay so since then it has come all the way back up over the hours and now it's all the way up to well down at the moment but up to 275 dollars at a peak of 367 dollars so it's managed to recover quite good actually uh, which gives me more hope in the project and uh, makes me feel like i was right did buy a little bit of a dip as well also and increased uh, my position i would have it would have been better if i did buy down here but um yeah that would have been just trying to catch a bounce and getting out um but yeah funds were allocated elsewhere at the time so i didn't do it okay i moved some uh, some funds around and i've got in another position over here only because for me it looks like it's a confirmed uptrend but then again i could be wrong guys this is only a couple of days worth of price action if we lower the time frame 
you can see to me that looks like an uptrend okay you got that bullish engulfing candle on a 15 minute and then it continued to the upside okay it's putting a higher well not a higher high but you know it's putting in higher highs and higher lows and higher highs and higher lows and hopefully this can break into a new all-time high and start to do some moves to the upside okay now why do i think it's got legs okay uh, this is basically a low supply coin uh, a low supply altcoin and uh, it's only a thousand token supply okay not only that but they will burn three percent of each transaction until the supply is down to 500 smpl at 50 percent okay if you stake smpl coin with smpl foundation smpl platform stake is minimum one smpl so you can stake as small as one coin with 20 percent staking fees and 20 percent on stake fees okay so there are penalties like you know they're, they're encouraging you to hold it okay so you can withdraw your tokens but uh you know there, there'll be a 20 percent fee okay so the longer you keep it in the better right all fees will go to the staking pool which will be distributed weekly okay not much to the website all right but uh there is hype behind it and it does look like quite a good uh, uh opportunity for you to make some gains all right always looking for the next big thing in DeFi, and this could potentially be it if we look at coins like the likes of moon day let's have a look and see what moon day did okay now moon day went from as low as 20 dollars or, or even lower than that actually uh, but i discovered it at, at 20 dollars or somebody in my, my trading group pointed it out to me at just 20 dollars okay but it was actually lower than that at uh if we say roughly down here you know about five dollars fifteen dollars maybe okay but um obviously you can see that went all the way up to 5k and that had a token supply of 1900 tokens all right which was getting burned gradually okay so you know if if smpl can do something like that that would be great okay you see at the start of moon day it came up and it came down it had a full correction all the way down so it took a little while for it to gain some legs but eventually you know people caught onto it and it went all the way up to 5k obviously now it's come all the way back down but even if you did get in at the bottom you still be up quite decent because it's currently sitting at a thousand dollars 941 dollars okay so that's why this um you know these dips don't really phase me in this coin at the moment we can also look at priya priya started off and it came down and it came down okay and then after what did it do it went all the way up priya went all the way up from its beginning of roughly about a dollar okay all the way up to 83 dollars okay so that's a massive price increase guys we can also see that vox did the same thing very volatile at the beginning come up it come down it come up it come down it came up it came down okay and then over time what happened it grew and it grew and it grew into a giant jack and a beanstalk beanstalk and it went to 2393 dollars all the way from its beginning at 17 dollars approximately okay guys so smpl could that be the next moon day or the next priya or the next vox potentially okay and that's why i'm willing to put my money on it and hope for the best all right uh if it doesn't then you know i can lose a little bit of money and if it does the risk to reward uh, the risk to reward ratio is very high okay guys so that's about it for now if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe like and comment also follow me at crypto lightsaber on twitter and you can become a patron link is in the description very cheap all right guys and you can gain access to the telegram group in doing so all right guys so that's it for now and i'll see you in the next video